Welcome back to another video. This is going to be a pretty quick one, but I want to print this uh, Aarakocra for my D&D &D campaign, just so I can have like, a visual representation of my character, but it's not exactly what, you, what I want him to look like, but it's close enough. I'll just have to use that, and I'm not really good at it, so this is the character. Uh, so, pretty much, if you want to download, if you want to print multiple things at once on your 3D printer, and you use Creality, the Creality Slicer, then this is what you do. So, on Thingiverse, you just click Download All, and then after pre clicking Download All, you should go to your Files, oh, your Files. And then, this is, actually no, you'll be in Downloads. Just don't look at all this stuff. It should be somewhere up here. Why is it all the way at the bottom? Dang, I have a lot of downloads. Alright, so now it's right here, so you right-click it. If you do download all on Thingiverse or any other website, it'll probably be in a zip file like that. I did extract all just to, just to get it into another place. But, yeah. Now I have... All of these, now, not all, I don't need all of these parts for it, but now that I have it, I open up just one of them, just double click one of them, and then you see this. Alright, so, once you're here, you'll see this, just delete it, you don't need it. Go to File. Alright, so go to File, Open Files, and then... Actually, you don't even need to um, extract all. You can just double-click it. You'll go straight to it. Click Files, and then you'll see everything. Just do that, or click the top, and then shift-click the bottom, and that selects everything. And then it will load everything. It won't be in each other, and it's all its own pieces. So you can move them around however you want. So, like, I only need one base, but for some reason it gives three different three different things for it. So, I delete that one. I delete that one. Just click delete, and I delete that one. Now, I'm, I'm just going to use the pre-made support, so I'm going to print, I'm going to get rid of all these floating things. That don't have supports yet. I have to remember which view, view is the front. And I kind of just like moving all the stuff like towards the, like, towards over here. That gets rid of a couple seconds from the print. But if you're doing this, you want to save time so that you don't go, need to come back multiple times. So just put it over here by where the printer does this little thing right here. And then you're done. Like, that's all you need to do. I have all of the supports. Right. It, has all, it has all the supports that it already gave, that it came with. And it's all ready to go. So now I just click slice. And I have just sliced one, two, three, four, five different objects. But if it's something bigger that has a bunch of parts... You could, like, put one part here, one part here, one part here, one part over here, maybe a few more parts over here. Just fill the bed with all the different parts. It might be a little stringy at the end, but you can just trim that down. I don't really mind. And then glue it together, or whatever you're supposed to do, and you're done. So I hope you enjoyed. It is def This video is definitely shorter than the other tutorial that I found that showed me how to do this. I'll leave a link to that one in the description in case you want a little longer of an explanation. But other than that, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.